I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Smuggler in the Blind. Oh. I have to go... Do I always have to go and speak to Risha myself? Because generally it just activates itself. Okay. Welcome to the Smuggler in the Blind. Episode 10. Risha. Oh, well, there's Baldar. I'll need to speak to you later. And i also got to speak to Corso, apparently. But first, Risha. Welcome to the Bantha Tail End of Space, otherwise known as Tatooine. Hope you enjoy heat, Captain. It's the closest you'll get to landing on a sun, unless you're really unlucky. If it's that hot here, maybe we should peel off a few layers. Uh -oh. I sunburn easily, but knock yourself out. We're here because of a crime lord named Diago Hickson, the closest thing Noctrain ever had to a rival. Diago was always trying to one-up Noc. They fought for territory, bragging rights, and the occasional woman. The battles were legendary. To be fair, chances are you're not going outside, so you're not going to get sunburned, so, you know, feel free. What's all that to me? Diago celebrated Nock's death by raiding one of his storehouses. Stole an advanced Gree sensor computer. Priceless technology. To find Nock Dreyan's fortune, we need to pry that sensor computer out of Diago's sticky fingers. That could be trouble. I haven't even gotten to the trouble yet. No one's seen Diago in years. He only communicates through his lieutenants. One of those lieutenants, a Nicto named Two Creek, promised to help. You need to meet him. He must want something in exchange for helping us. Two Creek wants fame. I promised I'd tell everyone he helped find Noctrain's riches. If you run into Diago, watch your back. He makes Skavik look like a Jedi Padawan. I might have to shoot Diago on general principle. Should I leave the engines running in case we have to leave on short notice? <laughs> Two Creek owns a club in the desert outside Anchorhead. He's expecting you. Good luck, Captain. Alright, we will go speak to Two Creek, but first, I think we need to get an, to know our companions a little bit more. Thank you. Much longer I would have ripped the arms off that hut. Would have saved me a bundle. Ha! <laughs> Bada likes you, small man. I would fight well for you, but for honor, not to entertain a hut. There's no huts around. Well, enjoy your freedom. I saved you the big bunk. Last ship, I was in the slaves' quarters. Thank you, Captain. Ah, oh, Bowda, you're most welcome. Ah, oh, let's go speak to a Corso, and then we'll go back to you, Bowda, because you're you're on the way out, so I might as well. Corso, hello. I never like asking for favors, Captain, but I think maybe we know each other well enough by now. I want to look for my cousin Rona. She's all the family I got left. And I think she should know what happened. Never worry about favors, Corso. You're part of my crew. Thank you, Captain. Rona came with me when I left for the brigade, but she jumped ship at the first port. All she ever wanted was to get off Ward Mantell. I thought maybe we could track her down. You'd like her. She's really the reason I'm here. I thought you came to chase down Skavik and stayed for the good beer. Rona was kind of our family rebel. We used to have a blast together. She liked me to run interference, so her father never caught her on dates with off-worlders. Save the cute anecdotes for the family reunion. <laughs> Only if we can track her down. <laughs> well, that was a change of heart. Bit <laughs> a change of heart, wasn't it, Arlo? I found someone who knows my cousin Rona. That was quick! He's a street doctor in Coruscant. Kind of a shady character, but that's who Rona always drifted to. I think he really can get us to her, but... If it gets you to your cousin, I'm in. Just tell me what I'm signing on for. Thank you, Captain. After some of the stuff we've done. I'm just saying it'd have to be one ugly mission to be worth turning down a chance to see my cousin. Let's just go to Coruscant and hear this guy out. We will do. But not yet, because we're going to do that later on. Uh, yeah, sorry, your, your cousin can wait. Your cousin can, can, can totally wait. Um, and apparently it's a higher level than me. Okay, level 24. So yeah, your cousin will wait, sadly. Uh, Baldar again, hello. I'm trying to remember Kashyyyk. I saw so many worlds as a slave. It is hard to remember home. How did you become a slave? By force, how else? I was taken as a child. I had just begun to train. Slavers attacked. I killed four before they shackled me. 
I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Yes, she would. Slavers seek our strength and bind us with honor. With our honor. I was a slave a hundred years. I stayed sane knowing some things I would die before I do. hundred years? Luckily, someone else usually died first. Luckily? Right then. Okay, uh, I need to get rid of the other round one because we're not doing that one just yet. And we're gonna go. D and wh where's the exit? I always forget where the exit is. Now we're gonna go down to Tattoo. Master, I hope you find your vessel a model of efficiency, convenience, and comfort. It's a pigsty, sort it out. You know, if there's one thing that does confuse me, it's how all of the class stories happen in the exact same area on any planet, absolutely any planet. I mean, I understand, sure, it's because Bioware didn't want to make an ev a, a map for every single class story. But it, it, when you think about it, it's just really weird that everything seems to happen in the same areas of every planet. It's... I mean, you could probably blame it on the Force, sure. But I blame it on some really, really, really weird coincidence. This is if, you know, this is if it was just story related. You know, development related, it was just because they didn't want to spend too much money. Law related, it's just a coincidence. I wonder how long it'll be before that fire is actually put out. It's almost like that burning hole that, I can't remember where it's actually in, but it's like the gate to hell where, um, if you don't, are currently open for business. don't know what the gate of hell is. It's basically a hole where a bunch of gas was um, being sort of shot out of it um, and I think a bunch of miners decided to you know ignite it to get rid of the ma get rid of the entire gas unfortunately that's still burning and it's been burning for quite a number of years and they're not entirely sure when it's gonna stop burning because gas just keeps coming out and keep coming out so who knows how long it'll be before it stops burning and before you think I'm making it up google it google the gate to hell um, but you may have to put, you know, like, I don't know, on Earth. Because, you know, if you put get to hell, you'd probably get so many nightmarish uh, things pop up. And you don't want that. Of course, Two Creek would be in a cantina. Why, why didn't I think that he would? Uh, down the set. Although, Richard probably said, but again, I didn't pay attention. I'm not really paying attention to the smuggler story as I am the Stephen Quizzer story, to be honest. Ah, Reach's business partner, here at last. Impressive. I'm honored she felt the need to make a show of strength. She must think very highly of me. Are all gangsters this full of themselves? I think he's intimidated by us. He should be. Between you, me, and Huey, he's a little outnumbered. Huey. <laughs> There's no need for threats, we're all friends here. I'm sorry to say this, but you've come in a bad time to do business. Things are... tense. You promised that sensor computer, and you're gonna deliver it. Honoring my promise is difficult under such dangerous conditions. Hey, pretty face! You don't belong here. I'm not looking for any trouble. Then you definitely don't belong here. Excuse me, but I suddenly feel an urge to put away all the breakable things. <laughs> I'm only a weary traveler. There's plenty of room here for both of us, my friend. You're not my friend! Got it? Leave the girl alone if you know what's good for you. Mind your own business, human trash! You want to leave me alone. You want to stop noticing me. You're really starting to annoy me. What? Men? How are you not simple-minded? You seem simple-minded. pretty face what we do with people who annoy me. Time for you to leave, lady. Oh, she's leaving all right. In tiny little pieces. She's a I Jedi. I am Maria Pridence, Jedi Knight. I come in peace, but I will defend myself. A Jedi! Kill her! Good luck with that. Oh! Cut down. My 
my word! It was never my intention to cause violence here. It's good you kept out of this fight. Definitely. No question about it. The galaxy would be a better place if everyone learned to control their fear and aggression. You scare me. These men, my name is Nariel Pridence. I'm a Jedi Knight, here on official business. I'm looking for Vavarone Zare, an agent of evil and servant of the Sith Empire. Have you heard of her? I've met a lot of agents of evil, but nobody by that name. Zare is a being of vast darkness, and a grave threat to the galaxy. I hear she's taken an interest in the local underworld, so I came to observe these criminals and gain information. Stick with me, sweetheart. I'll find the Zare before sundown. That's kind, but I can't place you in harm's way. Ah, of course. Now you see the dangers of consorting with petty criminals. I hope you rethink your life. I, I must continue my search for Vavarone Zare. May the Force be with you. Excuse me, but what do you know about me? I, I just, I just, I just came for a drink. And all of a sudden you were like, I should rethink my life. <laughs> How rude. Why did I go upstairs when I clearly needed to be downstairs? I needed to speak to two Greek. It's because, ugh, stupid me. I mean, I'm, I'm, she's not wrong. I kind of do need to rethink my life, but, you know, what are you doing over here? I thought she'd never leave. Look at this mess. Our gang has enough problems without Jedi chasing Sith through our territory. You see this expression on my face? It's called apathy. I'm not interested. You should be. It affects your business too. Our organization is under attack by a gang of Geonosians. Last week they took over our spice warehouse. Killed everyone, including a fellow lieutenant who had the only way of contacting Diago. I'm sure a clever boy like you has lots of friends. That's beside the point. The Geonosians have what we need. Iago hates it when we bother him. He got so angry, he killed a crate dragon. Gave us lieutenants one fang to share. Only the lieutenant with the crate dragon fang can speak to Diago, and that Jedi killed the men I was sending to get it. You got a brilliant plan, right? Risha says you're one of the best. I trust her judgment. Uh... You want your sensor computer, get me that crate dragon fang. It's been a while since I broke a sweat. Might be fun. My deceased associate kept the fang at the spice warehouse. Place is crawling with Geonosians. Won't be easy. Discouraging those Geonosians from sticking around will give us leverage with the boss. Just a suggestion. I'm heading for Diago's summer palace at these coordinates. Meet me there with the great dragon fang. I mean, to be fair... They started it. I mean, I'm not defending her at any right because you know she just told me I need to rethink my life. How dare she? But they kind of, they did kind of start it. She was just there, minding her own business, and they were just really like, "Hey, sweetheart," and yeah. Oh god, it's happening again. Um, well, basically, I kind of had this problem with my Sith Inquisitor where I was too under level. It's kind of happening again. Uh, all I need to do is get to level 22 and I should be fine for the rest of Tatooine. But, easier said than done. Easier said than done. And I've entered a bug. Where it thinks I'm in combat. When I'm really not. Let me log out and log back in. Oh, I can't. Thanks, game! So my plan there was to die, because, yeah. i got to hope that the enemies here aren't level 26 either. Um, and... Out of uh, my hope's kind of been, uh, you know, crushed there. So, um... I'm screwed. I mean, I'm not saying I can't defeat them. It's just the fact that it takes forever to try to defeat them. Like, seriously, forever. Is there any in here? Thank goodness for that. Let's get the fang, please. Well, I'm pleased Diago finally responded to my provocation. I was expecting a bit more. Uh, Captain, we've got something here. Totally can tell. that absurd little trophy the reason Diago sent you? This crate dragon tooth is the key to Diago's heart. Didn't you know? <laughs> You're funny. I suppose I can work with that. My name is Vavarone Zare. I'm interested in discussing a bargain with Diago Hickson. I'm trying to get a meeting with Diago myself. Uh, yes, 
It's easier to get an appointment with the Dark Council. <laughs> I've been prodding Diago for weeks. Raid a business here, kill a lieutenant there. It's like he hasn't noticed. I thought sending the Geonosians to raid this operation would surely draw him out. But all I've got is you. Get to the point. I'm seeking a small crimson box. One curio of many in Diago's personal collection. I'll give him whatever he wants for the box. But I need to arrange a meeting. Can you do that? People don't go to war over empty boxes. The contents are irrelevant. For your assistance, you'll receive a gift few beings ever enjoy. The pleasure of my company. Oh. I don't deny that you desire me. I'm the closest you'll ever get to perfection. Ah. I offer the chance of a lifetime. All I ask is that you arrange a meeting for me with Diago. So let me get this straight. You want me to get you a box to have sex with you? I'd rather drink a hot bath water. What? How revolting. That was fun, but unnecessary. Now run along and reconsider my offer. Until we meet again. You ever get the feeling we're in over our heads? All the time. Don't worry, Corso. I know what I'm doing. Glad one of us does. Ha! <laughs> I just realized something as well. I love how they recorded that dialogue for, like, when you click on him. Full speed ahead. Hold on. You got it. Nope. You've got a plan for making us even richer, right? Nope. You've got a plan for making us even richer, right? Nope. Don't worry about me. Hold on, let me click to it. You ever get the feeling we're in over our heads? There we go. See? He says it when you just click on him as well. So they recorded it for that, but it kind of stuck into a conversation as well. Isn't that cute? It's, it's very cute. Also, that took like a minute to get to. I had like a numerous of, the, of so many of the others, yet yeah, it took forever to get to this one time I didn't think it was possible for this job to get more complicated I know right we're so close to level 22 I think as soon as I explore the next area we shall be that isn't it exciting or oh, I could just kill like one of these guys but I'd rather just explore to the next area I mean they're not gonna knock me off my mount come on and level 22 lovely now hopefully I won't have any trouble killing any of the other enemies Wait, how do I how do I get up there? Oh, it's that way. I was going the wrong way around when the phase is there. To Greek! Right. To Greek, I'm here. Hello. 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 Ah, the crate dragon fang. And in perfect condition. I'm deeply impressed with how you handled those Geonosians, Captain. Remember that Sith we heard about? She controls the Geonosians, and she wants to meet Diago. The Sith is behind the attacks on our operation? How do you know? Gee, I wonder. She promised a reward if I got her some face time with Diago. Sith don't honor their promises any more than Jedi tell good lies. Let's hope that Jedi from my club puts the Sith out of our misery. We're going to an underground water well the natives call the Light Spring. The boss turned it into his private retreat. Now that we have the fang, he'll let us into. Oh! What now? Kukri, the palace is under attack! Imperial commandos! They're tearing us apart, breaching the security doors! Diago <laughs> will be furious if this palace falls to the Empire. Only one thing to do. We're escaping? Do the Imperials and meet me at the Light Spring. You coward! Wait a minute. We can both fit in that escape route. But you need to stop the Imperials from finding it while I get away. What am I? Good luck. See you at the light spring. Okay. Hostiles approaching. Yeah, I figured that. Hi. At least I can kill these ones. Compared to previously, because they're, you know. And <laughs> A good enough level. Kill. And kill. Any more approaching? Is that it? I guess that's it. I'll take that, thank you very much. And I need to use the security door. Where's the security door? Technically, that's the security door, but I guess we're going out this way then. Oh, this is the security door. Oh, okay. Hello. 
hello again. I was afraid you might have forgotten our agreement, so I sent some friends to jog your memory. Lady, I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. Oh, don't be tedious. We both know the last thing you want to do is kill me. You promised to arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I want it. Now. I'm through with you. Get lost. How can you reject me? Your brain must be diseased or something. <laughs> I'm afraid I have no choice but to order my soldiers to kill you. How dare you! There's no reasoning with some people. Insulted by a Jedi and then insulted by an Imperial. What is going on? Hostiles are approaching apparently. Oh no, the droids died! <gasps> Poor droids! Ooh, a bonus mission to kill Imperials. And it's only night. Well, I do need the experience. So, I might as well. Whoa, how dare you kill the guards! Oh, hello. Howdy. I need you three. Because apparently, those guys don't count. No idea why. Okay, I just need two more. Can I have some hostiles approaching, please? Although I could just kind of kill these two. Well, this this one, you know. Um, oh, ah, hello. That's my Jedi friend, the one who insulted me. Oh, and you're... Okay, then. Um, I'm actually going to kill this guy because that's the right level. They were level 27, which apparently uh, are difficult for me to kill. See, look, it don't count. I, I am baffled. Baffled as to why that is. Um, can there be any more any more hostiles? I I, I need I need one more. W w one more. I'll speak to you in a minute, uh, Nadriel. I just need one more. Oh, I heard an explosion. A jelly means they're about to drop. There we go. Hello. Okay, Nadriel. It's time for you to explain things to me. Yeah. I saw the Imperial Commandos. Are you injured? What do you think? A day late and a credit short, Jedi. This battle's long over. If you survive an assault by the Empire's elite, the Force was with you. I'm disappointed to see you in this place after our last conversation. I thought you'd learn to stop associating with criminals. Why are you here? Excuse me, I'm a criminal. You following me, Jedi? I heard about this palace back at the club. I came hoping to find Bavaron Zare, but it seems I've just missed her. I don't suppose you'd know anything about my enemy's present whereabouts. I'm going to a desert cavern called the Light Spring. Iago Hickson is there. The Crime Lord? Zare is looking for him? Stay here. When I confront Zare, it will be a horrific battle. You won't want to be around. Uh... May the Force be with us both. Farewell. In fact, I'm going to race you there. Oh, and to, to explain why Corsa wasn't in that conversation, he was out there fighting. I, I, yeah, basically. Kinda glad this is a bonus mission to kill Diago's droids. Because, like I said, I, I need the experience. I mean, there's no way. If I finish if I finish Tatooine now, because I have no idea if I'm gonna be finishing Tatooine now or in a little while, but if I were to finish it now, there is no way I would survive on Alderan. So I would need to do some leveling up, just like I need to do some leveling up my Sith Inquisitor. Uh, I mean they they said that they balanced this to a point where you could just do the class missions. Well, that seems to be a lie because I uh, did a flashpoint on this area. So I'm a little, I should even be a little bit further in terms of my level, and I still can't properly survive. And I'm using XP boosts. And I mean, on the bloody thing, yeah, I'm using that as well. Alright. So yeah, so I'm using the experience boost in my couch book. I'm using the minor experience boost. Because I'm also a subscriber, I get full experience, not just part experience. I don't know if they changed that or not um, in terms of, you know, how much experience you get um, when you're subscribed, not subscribed. So, yeah. And yet, somehow, I'm still underleveled. Great. Oh! I said Nadriel before, didn't I? Nariel! Why is it? I didn't. It's not Nadriel. Ooh! Diago! Another joins the Jedi to irritate me like sand flies. Is this how you serve, Two Greek? Inept. The captain and I have business. We have nothing to do with this Jedi. The Lightspring is a real dump. 
So is Diago, for that matter. <laughs> it pains me to see such ugliness spoiling natural wonder. Oh, hello! We're all here. Great. You Jedi are so tedious. Sensitive to every little thing. Hello again. Forcing me to follow you through that blazing desert. Not your best move. I hope you got blisters all over your pale, sithy feet. I'm feeling especially unsympathetic toward you. Surrender is your only option, Zare. You can't win. Empty chatter. Like fingernails on transparent steel. I will silence. Who is that? Oh, Risha, hi! Haven't heard from you in a while. Everything alright? Uh, it's a bit full. I've got a Jedi and a Sith fighting over me, but I only have eyes for you. Nothing you say makes any sense. <laughs> Poor Nariel. She's never been kissed. Such a professional. Who could resist? Oh, beautiful girl. So beautiful. Uh, Wait, is that him? You're with Diago? Yeah. I want to see her again. No! Stop pushing me. I'm not your droid. It wasn't a request. You bring her to me, or I take her from you. Uh... Diago, dear, I can offer you so much more. Just as soon as we rid ourselves of this Jedi. Afraid to fight me alone, Sith? Silence! The only voice here should be mine. Diago, you're every bit the monster Vavaron Zare is. You will both pay. You want to draw your weapon. You want to kill the Jedi. Uh. I think I'd rather kill you. You won't live long enough to regret this. I love how that's a light side option as well. I find a beautiful girl myself. Droids, kill everyone. But I didn't do anything. Everyone. Even you. Okay, uh, this is going to be fun. Oh, and she's level 28. Diago's level 28 as well. And so is she. Perfect. This is absolutely perfect, you know. I mean, at least Nerio will be helping me out. I mean, that's a good thing. Oh, you come to, you come to see me, have you? All right, that, that's fine. Um, what, you're healing? How are you healing? That's not fair. You can't be healing. Well, basically, this means I'm screwed because she's going to keep healing. Um, so maybe I need to kill Diago first because she's going to be distracted by Diago. I mean, I could just sort of die now. Uh, go level up one and then I'll be fine. But who has time for that? She's healing. He's healing as well. Know what? I'm going to rage out of this fight. I'm going to rage quit. I'm going to let them kill me. Um, no, if you, could, if you could attack me, please. If you could attack me, please. Stop attacking Corsa. Well, actually, you know, you can attack Corsa and then you'll be attacking me, so, you know. Um, so yeah. I need to level up. Because there's no way I'm going to attack, kill these two anytime soon. Um, so I'll go do that. And then in the next episode, these two will be dead. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell. <laughs> To you. What a weird way to end the episode.